Hello and welcome, this is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Attila Pinke and in today's video I'm going to talk about that the Curve token is out. You know, so many people have waited for it for such a long time, but it came out in a very funny, very, very interesting way. And I'm going to tell you the story because, uh, yeah... For sure, when I was waiting for the Curve token, I haven't even uh, expected that it's going to come out like this. Okay, the second news will be about that the Bitcoin market cap dominance is now falling and uh, what it will happen uh, to it and all these things, we're going to discuss that as well. And the third news is that uh, from the end of August, you will need KYC even on uh, bitmax and uh, with this kyc sooner or later or all, all exchanges all centralized exchanges what kind of uh, issues it uh, raise so all this in today's video and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel but you're interested in blockchain and cryptocurrency you would like to stay up to date then subscribe to this youtube channel click on the notification bell so you get the videos as soon as they out and i put these videos uh, every weekday on youtube so from monday to friday every weekday you're getting a brand new video with the freshest uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain news you can also follow us on twitter instagram and uh, facebook and i would like to give you a free course what you can download uh, from the link right under this youtube video it's called uh, the title of the course is how to start to invest in bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and in this course you find a lot of valuable information it's designed for those who are at the beginning of the game or they have started but they're not sure that they have made all the safety steps because you know the worst case is always when people just jump in do it very quick and then at the end of the day they're losing their crypto because they haven't done the necessary steps so all this in this course totally free download it from the link under this video and now it's time to check out the market cap uh, so, I mean, coin market cap and uh, the market. So, right now, Bitcoin at $11,734, which is a 2.42% increase in the last 24 hours. And look, we have Ethereum. Ethereum is going up now in the last 24 hours more than 10%. Right now, it's 429, uh, sorry, $429. And... Uh, <coughs> This is a significant uh, move. We can see now Ethereum is coming up, coming up. And for a long time now, for a couple of weeks, it was all around $400 and a little bit went over it. And then a bit back and over and down and down, but around that. And now it moved significantly uh, above it. So uh, that step, what it happened in the last 24 hours, it's, it's actually very great. You know, In this channel, I always tell you that in my opinion, Ethereum is highly undervalued. And uh, because so many things are going on uh, on Ethereum, all these DeFi things, and Ethereum 2.0 is coming this year. The testnet is out since uh, the 4th of August, and the price really hasn't moved. So now it's, it's about to move. So I'm really curious which way it is going. And now let's check uh, the winners. We have Algorand with plus 32%. We have Waves with 32% and Reserve Ride with 30%. When we're looking at the losers, we have Ampliforth uh, 11%, Swipe 7% and Banker 7%. So these are the top three. And now let's move on to this new token, which is uh, the Curve token. And look, it came out, uh, even if I go on the max, you can see it, that, oh, that looks pretty stupid. Okay, so anyway, uh, you can see the day is today, on the 14th of August. And you know, so many people fomoed in, because Curve, it's a very great uh, DeFi project. If you check the, the website, you can hear, uh, read, that Curve is basically an exchange liquidity pool on Ethereum. Imagine it just like Uniswap, you know, here you can see it. And um, so many people have waited for this launch, but it happened in a very interesting way. And, uh, oh, sorry, this is another one. Yeah, so 
here Curve uh, put a Twitter that so Curve uh, DAO uh, and uh, CRV token are launched by this uh, Twitter uh, page. You can uh, see it if you click on that. We had no choice but to adopt it. The launch has happened. So what's happening is they saying they haven't even launched this token. Someone launched this token. Here you can even see uh, more that someone deployed uh, CRV based on smart contracts. We had published on GitHub front running our efforts. And while we initially were skeptical, it appeared to be an acceptable deployment with correct code, data, and admin keys. Due to the token DAO getting uh, traction, we had to adopt it. So now they're saying, okay, it wasn't us, but now it all looks good. So from now on, it's official. And this is a very interesting way to, to launch a token. And <coughs> sorry, that's my allergy in August. It's always every year. So what's happening uh, here, you know, there are so many uh, conspiracy theories, obviously. And uh, I have no proof, but for example, an idea is that uh, Curve is saying that, okay, um, I want this token out. So maybe it's really launched by them, but they say it's not. So whenever uh, there is some investigation on anything, you know, on this token, they always can say, look, we didn't do anything. We didn't launch this token, but somebody did. It looked good. And, you know, we, you know, the community pushed it and then we have to uh, adopt it. That's it. But it, it wasn't us. But not sure. Okay, so this is just a guessing game, but it's a very interesting way of uh, launching it. And uh, look at when you look at uh, the price, uh, it's interesting because it, you know, went up. But look what's happening. This was uh, today uh, morning. And right now we are at 11 o'clock when I'm recording in this video, Central European time. And um, it went down uh, significantly because, you know, you can farm this token. And to be honest with you, to buy these tokens, what you can farm, uh, it's not a great idea in a way that, look, all those uh, people who are doing this farming, they get this token just for free. And what they do, obviously, they're going to sell it. So there will be a lot of uh, tokens on the market uh, which pushing down the price because it's valuable, they, they, they're selling it. So, of course, uh, you can um, risk it and you can buy it. But it's interesting how you can compete with those so many tokens when you want to sell yours, uh, which are on the market uh, by farmers who got it for free, just for farming. So this is all with these tokens. The best is uh, to do the farming and uh, it's all for free then. Okay, so this was the launch of uh, Curve token. <laughs> it was, uh, they were, people were waiting for it for a long time and it happened in a, such a funny way, in my opinion. Good. The second news, oh, by the way, here is, was one thing I which wanted to show you, it's not even second news, that uh, how great it is now that this advertisement appeared in Financial Times and... Uh, you know, it's now is the time to invest in Bitcoin. So now, actually, like Galaxy and, you know, there are other companies as well. Now, they advertising it, you know, and, and, and this uh, paper goes really to those people who are interested in finance and investments. And now they do all these kind of uh, advertisements. So the push uh, from the advertising uh, point of view has also started to pump up uh, Bitcoin and main, make Bitcoin even more popular. So this was just an interesting uh, thing I have found. Okay, so now the second news. And the second news is about that uh, the market cap uh, uh, <clears throat> Bitcoin dominance is right now falling, but like crazy. This, what you can see here, is showing the last three months, but I can actually go on the last six months so you get a better view. And what is happening when this market dominance is falling? 
It's happening because the old coins are getting uh, stronger and uh, stronger. People moving their investment from Bitcoin to old coins. <coughs> and sorry, I have to drink a little. Okay, so uh, if they're doing that, that means that there's a chance that now they're pumping uh, the old coins when the Bitcoin dominance is going down. And now you can see it's here uh, around 60, but it can actually happen. It goes to, 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 to 30 because there are so many good quality, high quality uh, projects, so many good uh, old coins. It's not like in, in the past, you know, if you go back to the old, look at this kind of Bitcoin dominance until 2010, uh, 17. So until the really the peak of Bitcoin, the all time high record, it was a clear Bitcoin dominance. There weren't, you know, other uh, coins people took serious. There weren't so, so many. And now you can see a significant drop after all the old coins went, you know, sky high uh, after Bitcoin's all time high, then was old coins all time high. And now there are more and more on the market than more than 7,000 old coins available. So if you're looking at this, Bitcoin is in a situation which is not that easy anymore to dominate. It's the, the strongest, the biggest, but people see a lot of potential in other old coins and therefore they move their uh, savings uh, to there. They invest also in other coins, not just Bitcoin. And you can see, look at the last three months, it's uh, a very clear trend in this uh, Bitcoin dominance on this chart. And I think 30 is also possible. Now it's around 60. But we will see. I also think that it will bit come back when, you know, we we need first uh, Bitcoin all-time high probably to push all the old coins up as well. So <clears throat> in that case, the people will FOMO in Bitcoin again, but then it's probably uh, going to uh, drop. But that's what I uh, think is going to happen. But you know, no, I, I don't have the crystal ball. I don't have the, I don't know the future. We'll see how it will happen. Okay. And the third news is all about that. Uh, even uh, BitMEX uh, has to do now uh, KYC with the customers uh, from the end of August. So pretty soon. And you know, Bit, uh, BitMEX, uh, it's, uh, it's a huge and, um, and old uh, really uh, exchange. So it's here for a, a long time. And, you know, their slogan, uh, slogan was always less than 30 seconds you can register and trade on BitMEX. And with this KYC, this thing will obviously change. <laughs> that 30 seconds, it's, it's, it's gone. And the issue which it raised, in my opinion, is that, look, now we can see that banks can do crypto service. And uh, if now all these exchanges need... KYC, the centralized exchanges, then will the people risk it here on a small exchange or they will see that, okay, I have my bank anyway, you know, it's, um, I had to um, provide all my uh, details there uh, too, but I much more trust the bank than, you know, maybe a bit shady exchange. And then they will move uh all the investments and they will trade rather uh, with the help of the bank than with uh, these kind of crypto exchanges. And another push is from DeFi, you know, Uniswap, when you don't need KYC, you just plug into your uh, hardware wallet or use, and using MetaMask and then you just uh, swap tokens and it's fast and simple. So I'm really curious how the future will look like for centralized exchanges because there is the push one side from this uh, uh, DAXs and another side is that now banks start to uh, do crypto service, crypto trading and we'll see in the future who the people uh, will choose. But I think it's very uh, interesting and now they can't do anything. They have to do it and uh, more and more exchanges and obviously <clears throat> many exchanges do it already for a while. Okay, guys, that's it uh, for today. One important thing I wanted to say that next week I'm going on holiday, finally. So next week, 
there will be no fresh videos, but no worries, okay? Uh, I'm not going anyway. After that, I'm uh, coming back and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, on the 25th, on the 25th, I'm back and there will be the next video, okay? So I'm going to have one week break, but after I'm continuing, because don't forget, every weekday I'm putting a brand new video here on this uh, YouTube channel all about cryptocurrency and blockchain news, so you should subscribe, and so click on the subscribe button here on YouTube, next to it on the not notification bell, and then you get the videos as soon as they out, and you should follow us also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to download the free course all about how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies because it's very important to be ready for the next bull market. Don't do it in the last minute and do it in the safe way. A lot of hot tips in this course. Free to download. Link is under this video uh, here on YouTube. So as I said, next week, I'm not coming with videos after that. I'm back and I'm going to continue every weekday fresh new videos. Guys, have a good one. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.